Hello, welcome to the Mark Gennard Show, the cybersecurity show. So Debian 13 Trick C has just been released. In this video, I'm going to provide a little bit of a navigation walkthrough, how you can navigate it, and also the pros and cons of it, right? This is going to be an honest review. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. We're going dark. So Debian 13 Trixie delivers, you know, huge improvements such as modernized kernel, refreshed, uh, you know, desktops, enhanced security and first class risk V support, but also introduces notable trade offs like the dropping of standalone 32 bit installs, legacy tool removals and conservative, you know, approach that may not suit all the users. Right. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So before we get into the pros and the cons of it, let's first talk about, you know, navigating it, right? The In regards to installation, you have to download the official ISO from the Debian's website, create a bootable USB using the Rufus or similar software, then boot from the USB, select install or graphical install, then uh, for the initial setup steps, you're going to have to choose the install type, whether it's the minimal, you know, CLI or desktop, you know, the Cinnamon, the Genome, the XFCE, etc. Right. You get the picture and then the language selection. So pick your preferred language for the system, the keyboard layout. You have to configure your keyboard type. You have to connect to the Ethernet or Wi-Fi for the network setup. You have to choose between guided or manual partitioning for the disk selection and, you know, partitioning. Uh, the default scheme is usually recommended for all newcomers. You know, all files are in one partition uh, in that regard. Then advanced users may set up separate partitions, whether it's the, you know, the home, you know, the, the swap, you know, the VAR, etc. You know, you have to set up a root password for administrative tasks, right? For user and authentication. This is a cybersecurity show. We got to make sure that we're doing the right thing. We don't want people to have access to things they shouldn't have access to. Now, uh, you have to create a regular user account, right? And then in regards to the package and desktop selection, you have to select standard system utilities and design desired desktop environment or choose minimal system for server slash headless install. Now for the desktop, whether it's, you know, the, again, the genome, the cinnamon, the XFCE, KDE, etc. you know, for the CLI, uh, you know, server, you know, you can skip desktop selection for the software repository configuration uh, the installer sets up official repositories, but you can add non free contrib or third party repost post install via the editing and then the, you know, the ETC slash APT slash sources list, right? Then the installation process is as goes. The installer will copy files, set up the system and required packages. The system will prompt for additional firmware if needed, especially for Wi-Fi. So you have to follow the on-screen instructions. Now, after that, right, the post install and navigation, you have to reboot into your new uh, Debian 13 Trixie environment, log in with your user account, update the package list and upgrade the system. And we have, I have a little bit of code for you just to, you know, kind of give you some visuals. Peter, please put that code on the screen for the views. You know, you have to navigate using the desktop menus, whether it's the app applications, the system, you know, or the CLI mode to use the uh, terminal, right? Like the app install package or additional software. Uh, you know, you have to install additional uh, software using the APT install package for the basic system management, right? For the package name and manage users with add user or, you know, and, you know, the delooser commands. The system settings and configuration are accessible from the settings or system menu in desktop environments. Now, some advanced tips for, you know, some users out there, you can add your, your user to the pseudo group for administrative commands. You can customize sources for advanced package management, for, you know, by editing their sources list. Now, you know, there's all kinds of uh, tutorials and, and guides out there to really help you, you know, really maximize this tool. So please feel free to take advantage of uh, those resources. Now, the differences in Trixie is the improved installer documentation, right? There's a simplified setup for third party firmware, non free firmware channel, smoother upgrades for previous releases. Now, for new users or those who are upgrading from Debian 12, like the bookworm, the process is familiar and documented with only minor changes needed in package sources to move to Trixie. 
now the pros are uh you know there's the modern kernel the 612 right which delivers much better hardware compatibility improved power management and smoother graphics compared to previous debian releases which is crucial for new devices and laptops now there is also new desktop environments so it ships with the genome 48 the kde plasma 6.3 the cinnamon 6.4 the lxqt 2.1 and others providing fresh and highly customizable user experiences that's if you want some choice out there right there's the risk v support it has an official support for the 64-bit risk v that opens debian to new hardware targets and future device types there's apt 3.0 right package manager which features a cleaner smoother color coded interface and a much smarter dependency resolver the solver 3 simplifying complex upgrades and improving reliability now what i said cybersecurity show right there's improved security right there's security enhancements so there's improved cryptographic support there's the tmpfs by default for you know the slash tmp which boosts the security and speed and automated upgrade tools streamlining you know basically the patching and the maintenance there's direct installer blends like you know the specialized uh, you know presets whether it's the junior the science the freedom box that can be directly selected during installation using for you know targeted deployments there's long-term support cycle so around five years of updates right three years of full support and two years of lts and it's attractive for stability focused users and organizations it has a minimal you know default setup which installs just a core system letting you build only what you need without unwanted bloat now you know there's some you know that, that there's pros to it right but there are some cons remember honest review so it's not a standalone 32-bit you know i386 installs right so i386 is now only a legacy multi-arc option on you know basically on 64-bit cpus standalone 32-bit install is gone reducing options for old hardware dropped architectures mips like the mipso you know mip 64 el you know have been discontinued limiting hardware compatibility for some users now legacy tools have been removed so open ssh has dropped dsa key support utilities like last last b and last log were replaced to fix year 2038 bugs packages like lxc which is old flows isc dhcp and several others may have been retired you know may you know require searching for alternatives if you know you depended on these now there's tmpfs for the you know slash tmp that's the temporary files are held in memory disappearing on reboot and potentially causing issues if large files are written to the slash tmp there are some unresolved bugs so over 140 critical bugs remain affecting a range of packages and potentially system stability production environments should you know check release notes and bug list before upgrading there's a more conservative update policy so software will freeze as with all debian stable releases meaning newer drivers game stacks like mesa and bleeding edge features like lag behind rolling release distros especially relevant for linux gamers or users of the latest hardware now what who, who's really you know the, the the debian 13 trixie like that market who is it really for so basically users of organizations right who demand you know basically you know security stability and long-term support or power users who want to customize their system from a lean starting point anyone or just anyone right needing strict standards compliance or a base for downstream distributions and you know if you want those with you know newer hardware right including the risk v devices seeking uncompromised compatibility and an out of the box support now that's like the market for it but if if you're about to be in this boat that i'm about to discuss right now it may not be the best for you right so uh users who you know who are needing frequent you know software updates or the very latest gaming stacks may not want to do this you know go this route of the libyan uh you know the debian 13 trixie or legacy hardware users whether it's the 32-bit only machines certain mips devices those wanting painless out of the box configuration for bleeding edge features okay now if you're in that boat you may not want to explore what's going on here right so 
that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. If you appreciate this content and you want more videos like this, please let me know that by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.